Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Integer Rules for Multiplication and Division. So we're going to start out by looking at the rules, and then we're going to find an easier way to kind of use the rules, um, and you can use which strategy works for you. So our first rule that we ever learned, of course, is that when we have a positive and we multiply it by a positive, we get a positive. That actually is the same type of rule for a division. So positive divided by a positive is also positive here. Here, if we have a negative and we multiply it by negative, we get a positive. For division, it looks very similar. It is negative divided by negative equals a positive. And then notice that both of these are going to result in a negative answer. And it's when one of the signs is different than the other. So it doesn't matter if it's positive times a negative or a negative times a positive. Both of them will result in a negative answer. That is the same for division. So we've learned so far that the rules for multiplying and dividing integers are exactly the same. The only difference right here is the sign, of course. So I'm going to introduce you to the triangle method. And this is a really easy method to use because there's not a lot to remember. You just draw a triangle on your paper. You put two negatives and a positive in there. And what we're going to be doing is covering up the two symbols that we have in our problem. And the thing that is left uncovered, the symbol uncovered, will be what the answer is. And you can use this until you look more, become more comfortable with the rules for multiplying and dividing integers. So our first problem is 4 times 3. Notice that I don't have two positives inside this triangle, and that's because I should know that anytime I multiply two positives, I'll get a positive. So I wouldn't use the triangle for this type of problem. I would just say the answer is 12. But for this problem, 5 times negative 6, what we can do is cover up our positive part of our triangle, and then we can cover up one of the negatives. That leaves us with a negative, so our answer must be negative. So I know 5 times 6 is 30, so the answer is negative 30. Let's try this again. Now I have negative 3 times negative 8, so I'm going to cover up my top negative and my side negative, and that leaves me with a positive. And these are the same signs, so that makes sense. So 3 times 8 is positive 24. Do make sure not to get these rules confused with the addition or subtraction rules because those are completely separate. It's only for multiply and divide that if you have two negatives, it gives you positive. All right, our last example for multiplication is negative 6 times 9. So we'll cover a negative and we'll cover the positive, and that leaves us with an answer that will be negative. So 6 times 9 is 54, so the answer is negative 54. This is going to be very similar for our division problems. Our first problem, 16 divided by 2, has all positive numbers, so we don't need to worry about using the triangle. We just know the answer will be positive 8. Our next problem, negative 35 divided by 7. Pause and see if you can try this on your own. You should have covered one negative and one positive, and the answer was negative. So 35 divided by 7 is 5, so the answer is negative 5. Next, we have 28 divided by negative 4, so we'll cover the positive, and we'll cover one of the negatives. And my answer, 28 divided by 4 is 7, so it'll be a negative 7. Finally, we have negative 9 divided by negative 3. And we're going to go ahead and cover up both these positives, which gives me a po I'm sorry, both the negatives, which gives me a positive answer. So, and these are the same sign, and they gave me a positive. So negative 9 divided by negative 3 is 3. Let's recap. We know that when we multiply integers and divide integers, they are going to have the same rules. And when you multiply or divide different signs, the answer is always negative. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the subscribe to watch this and other lessons. Until next time!